Hey there! Today we are going to do something a bit different. This will be an how-to about sim racing. I will show you how to build your own flag with Arduino Nano. It is quite a handy piece of equipment. Also you can make two and combine them for more information and better experience. I however went for only one since I already have external DDU unit with LEDs, so I don't really need second one. Here we have first part, front inner frame that will be housing our LED matrix. Then we have simple bracket for mounting. I will upload different lengths so you can print them and use as you need. Here is the front main body. It will hold all inner part together. And here we have panel grid. It will hold matrix in place and prevent light leaking. Here is the front glass. Hard to take off the plate, but much more flexible solution since one could use different filament colors. Lastly we have back cover. I did some changes to make wiring a bit easier to root. Not to forget, mounting bracket that will go on the back plate. I will be using simple M8 screw and nut that I have from my sim rig. You will also need 4 M4 screw and 4 M4 inserts to be able to put everything together. Here we have original design that I have used as a base. It is a great design, but design with some flaws. I changed few things like front frame to be more modular and flexible. Internal cutouts for easier wiring so that it is easier to route the cables. I will be using my soldering iron to heat those inserts to be able to fit them into the holes. Just be careful that the tip is not protruding beyond the insert length so that it will not damage plastic frame. Now you will need to put the insert in place and then slowly press it with the tip of your soldering iron. Try not to push too hard and make sure that the insert is flush with the frame. Patience is the key. Now that you are done, just check again and make sure that everything is in place where it should be. Inserts and plastic frame should be together like one piece. Here we have my 8x8 LED matrix. I already soldered it to Arduino Nano. I went with L-shaped wiring so that it is easier to put it into the case later. Now to put the front part together, you will need to go with glass first and put it in place. After that, you can just put the LED grid into place. Now to put the LED matrix in place, you will need to make sure that the grid is oriented correctly. Protruding lines will need to be vertically oriented since LED matrix does not have any SMDs vertically. Plan accordingly before soldering your Arduino Nano. Easiest way to put the front part in place is to push the board through the lower opening and then just push the front part into the frame. After that just place the board in place and make sure it stays there since it will be easier for back cover to fit correctly. Now you can use those 4M4 screws to put the case together. Try not to over tighten the screws since it could break the plastic. Even though I used PETG filament it might break, just make sure that it is finger tight and nothing more. Now we can proceed with mounting our back mounting plate. You can see that it will fit in place but we still need to use those two screws. My advice would be to have that place in love's position, since you will need some place for USB-C cable. Especially if you are using same M8 screw like I am, which is a bit taller than it should be. Now to the mounting bracket. You can see that my prints have rough surface that will prevent any movement after the screws are tightened. You can simply place it under the mount and use your M8 screw and nut and secure it that way. As you can see it will hold everything in place without you needing to tighten the screw too much. You could also use a washer to spread the force evenly over the bottom bracket. Now here is direct comparison to the original. On the right we have my upgraded case and on the left is original one. It is really good design with some minor flaws that I have upgraded. Main thing for me is modular front panel. It is much easier to swap them and adjust to your likings. Now you will need to pay attention regarding this front glass part. It will be hard to remove from your build plate. Since it is only two layers, you will need to be extra careful when removing. Main body will be super easy to remove especially on rough surfaces but not this thin part. Now, when it comes to installation onto your sim rig, it is pretty simple. You will need one alu profile nut and an M8 screw. Then make sure to insert the screw before USB-C cable if you are using Tallhead 1 like I am here. After that, just connect your USB-C cable. Now we can use M8 nut and connect it to the mounting bracket. Finger tight will do since you don't want to damage your plastic by over tightening it. Next up is SimHub software that we are going to use to configure and set up our sim flag. You will need to open Arduino on the left side and then head over to my hardware. There you can see that I have mine already configured and programmed. I will remove mine now so we can start from scratch. After you have connected your Arduino board, you can see on the right side if it is showing up and working. 
Now you can choose single Arduino if you only made one and that will open SimHub sketch window. From there we can choose start from scratch option. Now make sure you select RGB matrix on the left side and on top right side make sure that you can see your Arduino board and that new bootloader option is selected. After that make sure that you chose right data port on your board. You can change this by clicking on the number on the Arduino picture in the middle and change it if you want to use another port. Now you can accept firmware warning and upload your sketch to your board. Give it some time and when it is done it will confirm that upload was successful and you can just click on OK and close it. Now we can go back to our SimHub window and go to RGB matrix and from there you can either choose default preset or build something new. I left mine at default with some small changes. Now that we are done you can check how it works while I gave my final thoughts. Honestly this is great add-on to your sim rig. It was useful and fun project. Anyone that have same DIY spark in them will enjoy building this. Depending on your installation, you can use it as extra source of information. Gears, flags, spotter, you name it. If you want to see it in action, you can check my other channel where I post only about sim racing and driving. You can also subscribe since it is a new channel and it could use your help. Thank you for watching and cheers.